the gold is in the long term. So the way I think of it is, if you're not providing value, if you're not producing content, what are you doing? How are you serving this audience? Right? If they're not buying right away, are we just throwing them in the garbage? No, we need time to build that relationship. Some people are more impulsive, some people are more analytical. It's gonna take longer and longer. The average buyer nowadays, okay, this is according to Forrester Research, guides them through 60 to 90% of the traditional sales funnel slash process before ever contacting a brand or salesperson. How many of you guys have bought stuff online before? How many of you guys have bought it sight unseen? Okay, a few times, right? But how many of us research? We go to Amazon, we read the reviews, we look for other websites, and we see that one one-star review, and then we're like, oh, there's 500 positives, but there's that one, one negative, I don't know. We do a ton of research now because we can. We have, it at, we, have, we have our phones, we have the internet, we have everything at a fingertip. 81% of shoppers research online before ever stepping foot into a store or making a purchase online. This is according to GE Capital Study. If you wanna buy a new iPad, you're gonna go right to the Apple Store or might you do some research online first? Online, right? If you're looking to lose weight, you might start doing some queries on YouTube, how do I lose weight? Or, hey, what's this intermittent fasting thing? I'm interested in that. You go to YouTube, you see some of my videos, you're like, hey, this guy's good looking, I'm gonna follow him. Number three, consumers spend an average, and this is a big one. An average, and I'm definitely not part of this uh, because I don't take 79 days, but average of 79 days conducting online research before buying. That's an average. That's according to that same study. So remember yesterday when I talked about when we have too much choice, we become paralyzed and overwhelmed, we don't take action. And this is part of the reason for that. And this is why social proof is so important because we're so perplexed by so much choice that we just need to find the largest group of people that are seemingly doing well or you know, getting what we want and we wanna follow that because that's safer. Whether that's going to a better restaurant because there's more people there or buying something on Amazon because it has more reviews. And what's interesting as well, there's another study that looked at when somebody comes into your ecosystem and they search for a solution, 50% of them will buy within 18 months. Okay, so 100 people inquire about your thing, 50% will buy within a year and a half. But here's the kicker, is that only 15% of them will buy in the first 90 days which means the gold is in the long term. So the way I think of it is, if you're not providing value, if you're not producing content, what are you doing? How are you serving this audience? Right? If they're not buying right away, are we just throwing them in the garbage? No, we need time to build that relationship. Some people are more impulsive, some people are more analytical. It's gonna take longer and longer. Mm -hmm.